What? I, I, I almost forgot how to stream. I, I, I forgot to mute my background audio. So you guys could hear a little bit of the music I was playing like right before I, I transitioned. Hello guys, hello. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, hi, hi. Hi, Cabal. Hello, Opal Light. Give me head pat. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. A nice welcome back head pat. I will do the wellness pack too, stretch. I'm already sitting up straight and sit. Hello, everyone. Thank you for coming to my welcome back stream. Or more like, I, I, don't, I don't know how to make things uh, like special. So it's just me. I'm, I'm back. Um, I've been gone for two weeks. And uh, honestly, it feels like forever since I was streaming, even though it's only been two weeks. <clears throat> A lot of things happened during the trip. Uh, if you guys want to know, I... I can probably talk more in detail on VC or something, but it was it was wild. It was really wild. I hope you guys have been well these past two weeks. I hope nothing too crazy has happened. I have a Coke with coffee with me. Two weeks is like three months to VTubers. It really does feel like that, especially if you stream like multiple times a week. Hey, Hazy! Welcome, welcome. It's nice seeing you guys in the chat again. It's nice talking with you guys again. I really missed you guys. I really did. It's it's nice just getting back to the grind, streaming. It's not really a grind, it's just like nice hanging out time and being a frange. <laughs> Coke coffee is super good, I know, right? I, I, I drink a lot of it though, because I drink too much caffeine so this is my second one for today. I drank one like earlier this morning. I missed your heckin' streams, dude. Aw. Thank you. I missed having you in the streams, whether you be lurking or chatting or existing. But um <clears throat> yeah, today we will just get back to playing hotel desk, but let's let's chat for a bit. Let's catch up. Um Anything new happen over the past two weeks for you guys? Or just just the huge? Any new projects you're working on? Yeah, yeah. Christ, I miss you. Ah! I miss you guys too. And like, um, I had a little bit of an early welcome back because I did uh, get on VC in the Discord on Monday. It was nice just chatting with you guys and like playing a game. You're on a new hiatus. Yes, I saw I, I saw that on Twitter a few days ago. I hope you are able to get the rest that you can get. Or the rest that you should get. In that, we will wait patiently for you to come back to streaming for your chill streams. How's your new break? Also, I have a new job. Damn! I think I remember you said that you were going to interviews. I'm glad that you got a new job. How, how how long have you had it so far? How are you liking it? I, um... My break was good. It was definitely... It was stressful because of various things. One, uh, traveling to a new country for the first time alone. Um, two, having to deal with, you know, COVID restrictions and stuff while traveling. Because literally, if... I didn't test negative for COVID on the way back. I would have had to stay in a country in, that I didn't know for an extra however long it took for me to test positive, uh, test negative again. So I was like, damn, when you're when you're visiting someone uh, and you're going out to different places, you know, where you could possibly get COVID, because we we're, were going out, because um, that's what you do when you're in a new country. You go sightseeing and stuff. So... Several new countries, yes. I was laying over in uh, in several new countries. Fortunately, it should only be a short break. Shorter if I can manage. Yeah, but no rush. Ho hopefully a short break, but no rush. You're leaving too? Uh, are you in... Like, is Cabal going to a new country? I don't think so. But, uh... I, I did... <laughs> you know what's kind of funny? Um... European airports, at least the airports that I went to, 
they're very well organized, like super well organized. Like I was in them like super quick. And even though you can wait in line for a while, but as soon as I got back to America or the American portion of the airports, things went so long. The lines moved so slowly. They had no idea what they were fucking doing. Americans don't know how to use public transport, which makes sense because public transport here is really shit compared to Europe. No passport? Yeah, you can't, you can't really leave if you don't have a passport. Yeah, Cabal's just taking some time for himself. But yeah, it, it was nice seeing, like, Europe. Um, you know, there are good parts, there are bad parts. Good part, public transportation in Europe is so good. You can get anywhere without a car. Even, like, rural-ish places. COVID makes the slowness of transportation come to a halt. It, it's always been like this. Americans just don't know how to organize, like, like uh, themselves, I, I, I feel. There are people who are more organized than others, but it's just, it's just really apparent when you compare them side by side like I was, um, like, switching from one airport to the other. But, uh... <laughs> Like, it, it was just a nice experience, and it was also nice to see the architecture in Europe, because compared to America, the architecture there is much, much older. So you saw, like, I could see the different kinds of mixtures of old architecture that are hundreds and hundreds of years old. It was beautiful, really. Um, also, their... Their, uh, their buildings are very colorful, at least where I was going. Like, each building had its own color. And, and apparently that's just the thing in the country that I went to. Can I pet you? Yes, you can give me a little pet. We, we do have a uh, reward, a point redeem for head patting me. So if you choose to, feel free to head pat me as much as you want. Also, hey, Games Ideas Maker, I remember you. Welcome back. But, uh... Yeah, Europe was nice. It was if you guys didn't know who why I went to Europe. Uh, very colorful, very gay, <laughs> very gay country. Even though gay marriage isn't legal where I went, but um, <laughs> if you guys didn't know why I went out of the country, I was visiting some friends, some fellow VTuber friends. I was visiting Hair in a Cup and Koro, as you probably see them in chat. It was really nice seeing them in person after knowing them for a year. And like getting to know different sides of them. It was really nice. Uh, this was like the first time that I've ever met an online friend like properly. Because I've met online, like one online friend in person before, but it was just like saying hi at a con and we didn't really talk about much and that was like a decade ago. <laughs> Your two European VTuber meetup and the American. <laughs> the two Europeans and the American. So, uh, I definitely had it cracked out, uh, cracked up for me. But it was very fun to meet, uh, to, you know, hang out with them. Also, Hare's Rats. I got to play with Hare's Rats. Hare's Rats are adorable. <laughs> also, I was, I was sleeping in Hare's room, which is her rat room. Uh, for the trip, and I was surrounded by the sound of rats as I fell asleep. I wear earplugs to sleep, so I only heard them a little bit, but it was nice being surrounded by, you know, little creatures. Your wife was your first online friend made up? Aw, that's so sweet. You got to visit Kuro, that's well. Yeah, yeah! Yeah, Kuro's from France. So Kuro went over to Hair and I went over to Hair and we just all met up together. It really is nice. I, I didn't think I would get the chance to meet them, but we made like a spur of the moment like decision to just meet up together because Kuro was already already planning on meeting up with Hair and I was like, can, can I tag along? And they were like, yeah, of course. And I was like, yeah, okay. It was nice. Definitely, um... Good experience. Good learning experience, too, for, like, being more independent and traveling and stuff. But I think I'm good for traveling for a little bit. At least until 
COVID gets a little bit better. Because right now I'm um, I'm pretty good COVID wise. Uh, I am like isolating myself uh, just to be sure. I don't want to infect anyone, so it, it'll be a little bit until I can see Drake in. But like a week or so, that's how they. Um, that's the recommendation. I've tested negative on all the antigen tests I've done, and I'm gonna get a PCR on Friday. So I'm just being like extra cautious, especially since my mom is like older and she has several health health uh, issues. I don't want to infect her. Biggest concern for you being the bra was actually your social battery. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I uh. It was a lot of social interactions. There, there are just times, I think all of us are kind of, I'm not sure about hair, but I think all of us are like introverts, or at least they, we lean towards it. So there were times where we were just quiet for hours at a time, or just like on our phones, and that was just us recharging. And that was all right. I'm okay with just hanging out, um, just in the presence of other people, not necessarily talking. You are an introvert? Okay. Hey, hair! Uh, speak of the devil, there is hair herself. I'll, I am glad I'm back safe, too. But, yeah, it was just nice, like, hanging out with them, too. I wasn't sure, like, I'm always nervous about being around other people, even if I'm comfortable with them. But it was nice to just sit there in silence sometimes, because sometimes you just need to recharge your battery, you know? I'm an extrovert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember you, you talked about how you like thrive on interacting with people. Unfortunately, that is not the same for me. I enjoy interactions with people I like, but it depletes my battery very quickly. Welcome back. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you doing, Jello? I miss seeing your little name in the chat. Wait, wait, wave. Wait, wave. But, um, how you been doing, Jello? I hope you've been fine the, the past two weeks. But, um... I just got distracted because I'm looking at the video for the, the music that I'm playing. It's pretty nice. It's like a spinning uh, record. So I, I just got hypnotized by the spinning record. By the way, how are you doing, hair? Thank you for stopping by in the chat. All excited, <laughs> gremlin. I like seeing that that emote in person now. I've been hyper focusing on like seven games and I can't do anything else. That's a very big move. What what games are they, Jello? I uh, I've been hyper focusing on several mangas today and I couldn't really get any work done for half the day. It was nice. I'm still. I would still be hyper-focusing on them if I wasn't streaming. Bit bummed out? Wait, why are you bummed out, hair? You alright? I'm glad you're doing alright overall. Oh damn, this is a fucking jam. Yeah, sending good vibes. Oh, relationship stuff, yeah. I, I remember seeing the chat messages earlier, but I was too I was too busy being hyper focused. Hollow Knights, Legends of Arceus, yes. Earthbound! That's a good one. Terraria, Kirby Star Allies, and Mario Kart. Oh boy, that is a lineup. I've been meaning to play Earthbound again recently. I uh I started all the games. All the mother games. I've never finished them though, and I think the farthest I got was in Mother 1, but I hate it. I, I, I hate how I can never finish games. I always get distracted. But I hope you're having fun with the games, Jello. Right yeah, I'm glad to be back. I'm glad to be chillin'. And I'm also glad I'm not at work anymore, because work has been annoying me today. For reasons I can't quite explain. First tried the Manti? 
What's what's Manti? Let me take you in. Let me take you in. But we should probably start playing Hotel Dust soon. I think. How far did we get last time? I'm not quite sure. Let me see. Let me get this pulled up. I have the DS out. Mantis? I I still don't know what uh Fanta for disaster. <laughs> I like that emote. But what? Oh, Mantis, what? Like what? Did, what, you, what Mantis are you referring to? Okay. Downloads. All right, let's turn this off. Nintendo, sing. Lord. Z L Mantis Lords? Mantis Lords are the our oh. Lord and Savior, the Mantis? Okay, let me turn down the, vo the volume there. Elapsed playtime. 173 minutes. How long is that? About three hours? Yeah? <laughs> I still have no idea what you're referring to. But, okay, okay, we just started chapter four. There are ten chapters in this game? Oh, yeah, we were hanging out on the roof, getting some pussy, hang having some fun. And it was just sun setting, like the sun was setting a bit ago, and now we're just... It's nighttime. Where am I going? Well, 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 well. It's my pager. <laughs> Imagine having a pager. Better call Rachel. Oh fuck, we gotta call her. It's like she's my mother. Okay, have a good sleep hair. Thank you for stopping my sleep well. We gotta call our mom again. Let's see. Phone? I pick you up. Oh, the music in this game is banging as always. Red Crown Enterprises, this is Rachel. Don't you have a home to go to? <laughs> yeah, why is she always at work? Wait, it, it, isn't it like 8 o'clock or something? Why is she still working? It's more fun talking to, to you, sweetie. Oh, you're making me blush. Oh, and I have a message from Ed. Let's hear it. He says he's going to be late getting back. Went out again, huh? Mm-hmm. He went to see his friend in the LAPD. But I'm supposed to ask if you need anything. So do you? Goodbye. No, not right now. But, but what? Come on, Kyle, if there's something I can do, just ask. All right, I need you to check something for me. You got it, handsome. Ooh, she's just laying it on thick. What am I looking for? I need information on a man named Osterzone. That's a name? Yeah, Osterzone. Guy's a painter. Did the picture called Angel Opening a Door. Well, aren't you cultured? All right, sweetie. I'll call when I find something. Kind of curious why you need info on a painter, though. Tell you later. Really? You will? I'm looking forward to it. Just get on it. Oh, are well, you being a little bitch, Kyle? Oh, yes, sir. See ya, Kyle. Yeah. Ah, I'm so happy to see Kyle's face again. His little grumpy face. <laughs> Great. Who's that? Okay, I think, so the last chapter, just trying to remember where we left off. Last chapter was Melissa's chapter, I believe. So we did the whole interrogation of Melissa. Puss, puss. Yo, hi, it is me, hello. You're always glad to see Kyle's face? <laughs> yeah, maybe. He's just kind of cute. 
This is a little bit. I bought the you know what from the you know who. I distracted Dunning and borrowed the spare office key, just like old times. Anyway, here you go. My here you go, my man, the key to room 217. Awesome, nothing like stealing. I got the room 217 key from Louie. Yo, it's a man! He's got man features and a man body. And a man hair. Oh, I didn't even read what he said. Um Yo, Kyle, I love you. Let's make out. That's what he said. You can't let them know I boosted that key. Don't worry, if I get caught, I'll do my time like a man. Because only men can do their time. Hey, tell me something. You learn anything about that fountain pen? Nah, man. Man hair. <laughs> yeah, he got the man hair. Look at that hair. It's fabulous. Hey, Bebop, welcome. Oh, I see you have the little bronze badge. Was that, has that always been there? I believe I have the Fronge King badge. No, I have the Fronge Chainsaw, which is, uh, like, obviously better than Fronge King. I free I think Fronge Chainsaw is, is the most you can have at the moment. You have grown to your full round form. Yes, you have. Hey, Jello. <laughs> Hello again, Jello. Yes, and then soon you will be a Frange King, and then evolve into a Frange Chainsaw. Asked Mr. Smith about it, but I struck out. Said nobody named Alan's been here in the last couple of weeks or so. Yeah? Who do you think it belongs to, man? I'd like to think Louie has, like, Shaggy's voice from Scooby-Doo. Because he says man a lot. I, I can't do an impression of him, though. Rack Frange Evolution. <laughs> What if there is like a combination rack frange creature? I don't know, but I'm gonna hold on to it for a bit. I want to check something out. No skin off my hump. My humps. My humps. My humps. My humps. My hump. My hump. My hump. My lovely frange lumps. <laughs> check it out. He sounds like Danny Sexbang. I. He's from uh, Ninja Sex Party, right? Right? I haven't heard much of them, but I know about them. Like Zoink Scoob, I may be a material girl. <laughs> That's great. Zoinks! Rack Frange sounds terrifying. It kind of does, but at least we get a tail. I, I also did not read what he just said there. My lumps? Plural? Your lovely Frange lump? Yeah, my my lovely Frange lump, that is me. Louis finishes yapping and heads out. Okay, I see Louis a yapper. Okay, so I go to room two seventeen. I guess. Wait, who's there? Oh, it's this guy, Jeff. Oh, douchebag. Danny from Ninja Sex Party and Game Grumps. Yeah, I've heard of him. I've never really been into th their content though, but I know they're good. What are you doing? I'm not doing anything. He looks pissed off. And it looks like I should be asking you that with the way you're skulking around. Keep asking questions. See where it gets you? <laughs> Damn, Kyle's fierce. <laughs> ah, forget it. What do I care what you're up to? Yeah, you don't care. Yeah, go back in your room, you little bitch. Goes back in his room and shuts the door, moody little punk. <laughs> Jeff with the resting carrot face. Yeah, he has the resting bitch face for real. Okay, let's use the key. I use the key and open room 217. Whoa! It's a hotel room! Just like I thought. So this is the room where the other Kyle High stayed a few months back. According to Louie, it hasn't been used since. 
Oh, it's got that fresh Kyle Hyde smell. The smell of my of my partner. What the heck was his name again? Bradley? Yo, a room! It's almost like we're in a hotel! But it's got like, <laughs> it's been unwashed. Uh, sheets not washed. I imagine Kyle just lays in bed and he goes like, <sighs> Oh, it smells like Bradley. Uh, oh, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> that last part wasn't Kyle though, but you can imagine that. Kyle sees? Sounds pretty great. <laughs> ah! My nose is itchy! Frantically digging through the drawers, right? Ah, uh, this is the toilet that Bradley used. Toilet's clean. Good thing too. I don't want anything to do with a dirty one. What? A dirty toilet is one you've used, dude. Dude will sniff Bradley till she's seized. <laughs> Mmm, good Bradley scent. Probably smells like shit. Another sink you could eat off of. Okay. Fresh, clean towels. I'm definitely taking some of those with me. You're a stealer, Kyle! Kettle, kettle! Quack, quack. Quack, quack. Quack, quack. That's the sound that frogs make, right? Hey, Tux, welcome! Glad to see you. Bottle of shampoo. Is he gonna talk about his reflection? Mirror sparkly. Rosa even cleans the room that no one uses. What a trooper. Oh, okay, so she's clean this. This okay, I'm not interested in this room anymore. Bathtub's clean as can be. There's a shower curtain around the bathtub. Why is it around the bathtub? Like, well I guess if it's a shower. But I hate it when when the curtain is like outside the bathtub because then it just gets the floor all wet. Toilet paper, man's best friend. Also, Franja's best friend. I like- actually, I don't really like toilet paper. I prefer my bidet. I had to enjoy an advert? Oh, ad- ad suck, yeah. I- I was just saying, hey Tux, how you doing? I, I, I'm happy to see you in the chat. It's a dresser. Let's snoop through it. That's not very le poggers. Yeah, ads suck. Do ad blockers work on Twitch? I don't think so since I have ad, an ad blocker and I still see Twitch ads on my laptop. Bidets and toilet paper are completely different. They really are. Oh, speaking of which, one thing I missed while I was in Europe. I missed my at-home bidet. I had to wipe my ass myself. Who would do that? I became a barbarian. <laughs> one sates your hunger, the other sates your thirst? Wait, what? <laughs> So you eat to you eat toilet paper and you drink from a bidet? Well, I guess if it's to wait, is toilet water like safe? I think it's safe as long as the toilet's clean. Shrek to donkey. She had to wipe her ass herself. I know. I, I went back to being a donkey. I, I am now a, a Shrek. I am now a Shrek again. Speaking of Shrek, I got a, a McDonald's Happy Meal toy that had a little of that. Thank you for the fart. <laughs> but I, I got a McDonald's Happy Meal toy that had a little cutout of Shrek and um, Coro and Hera were there. We had so much fun, fun with that little cutout because it was for a board game thing for DreamWorks stuff. So Shrek was just like, we had Shrek peer, peeking over like, like we were doing like little poses with Shrek. It was nice. Water from the tank is usually safe. Okay, that's good to know. But I would not be drinking that. <laughs> Some hotel letterhead here. Several sheets have already been used. There's a lighter in the drawer. This. I've seen this before. I know what my gay partner's lighter looks like. Now I remember. This is the lighter Bradley always used. C come. Is this like a custom made lighter? Or is it like something you can get at the store? Because someone could have gotten it from the store. It looks custom made though. Or it looks like it would be unique. Frangus frongus. Frongus dongus. 
Dongus Wongus. I love it when they put a tiny Shrek in my Happy Meal. I love it too. I also got a little panda beanie baby in my Happy Meal as well. European Happy Meals be slapping. Every burger and fries with a drink is a Happy Meal, in my opinion. But do you get apple slices? Do you get milk? I don't think so. And do you get a little toy? You get the special little box. That's what makes the Happy Meal a special experience. <laughs> this is proof. Now I know the guy who's. Now I know about the guy who stayed here six months ago. It was Bradley. Political? <laughs> Wait, am I? It, it, are we talking Happy Meal politics? <laughs> you can order a cup of assorted fruit at McDonald's in Europe. Oh yeah, I did see that on the menu. I can't eat the toy without difficulties. <laughs> True, I can't. I can't get the toy either, except maybe the cardboard ones. I could probably eat the cardboard ones. It's a hotel envelope. Okay. What's under the TV? Oh, it's a fridge. Nice. Just get better. <laughs> Just, just learn to eat plastic. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that'll totally be good for your your intestines. <laughs> yeah, that that's understandable, Cabal. Stick to the food. The television's not turned on. Too bad. I'd like to see the news. I wonder what the news would be like in, at this time. Mmm, plastic. It's almost like it was made for kids. Tea set, huh? Didn't know LA folks like tea so much. A restaurant menu is on top of the table. There's a tall lamp in the corner of the room. It's a round wooden table. Round like my ass. That's another wooden chair. Hope this place never catches on fire. Oh no. Can I can I lay in bed with Bradley? I already get enough plastic from the food. Oh no! Not the McDonald's plastic food. What if they had a Happy Meal where your toy was just another Happy Meal? I wouldn't be surprised if they already did that. If it was like a, well, if if it was an actual Happy Meal, that would be hard to do. But if it was like a plastic Happy Meal box-shaped thing, they could do that. Yeah, the transforming Happy Meal box. There's small tables on either side of the bed. Oh, what's this? The painting used to be up there. Looks like there used to be a painting there. Why is the painting taken down? There's a painting on the floor. That's weird, why is it there? What's this? What's this? It's, I got an old photo that was sitting behind the painting. There's a man and a girl in the photo. They look like father and daughter. Who does the girl look like? If you didn't know, look at the dress, because apparently this girl just wears the same fucking dress all the time. I'm trying to generate infinite Happy Meals? <laughs> like actual edible Happy Meals? Apple juice, better than orange. I agree. I agree with your political opinion, Jello. Apple juice is supreme. <gasps> wee, 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 ferocious raid. Welcome, Nebo and Co. <laughs> Thank you for the raid. They're glad to see you guys. Gonna sit right here if that's okay. Yep, yep. I got a little seat for you. I got, I got a seat for you guys. I'm making some room. Hello, Princess Magpie. Thank y'all for the raid. You're playing Yakuza Kiwami too. I've heard that the Yakuza series is pretty good. How was that? Came from Nibble. Well, I hope you enjoy your time here. We're just chilling. We're playing some Hotel Dusk. And, and watching how gay uh, the main character is. <laughs> Yakuza series is awesome. I have uh, Yakuza Kiwami 1, 2, and I also have Yakuza 3. I got it from Humble Bundle, but I have not, I have not opened the games yet. <laughs> I hope to one day, though. 
posted pic of Happy Meal box, Happy Meal toy, and memes. I want to see that later. It was fun to watch. Well, apparently it's fun to play too. I will get to it eventually, and hopefully I'll like them. But it seems like it will be fun in themselves. The game I'm playing looks really cool. Yeah, it's a it's a game from the DS era. You would play it sideways, and it's like a, a mystery a mystery game? Mystery visual novel, pretty much. And it's pretty nice. I liked it. Also, main character is pretty cute. He's the guy on the left there. He's like a scruffy, beaten down uh, ex-cop who is working as a salesman and trying to track down his gay partner, I mean his old partner from the force, who disappeared. The Yakuza has a literal perfect balance of nonsense and melodrama. Ooh, also you get to do rhythm game in it, apparently? Thank you, Princess Magpie! Thank you, I, I'm glad you enjoy my roundness. I would also kiss Kyle on the mouth. <laughs> I'm glad you agree with me, Tux. Kyle Hyde, yeah. <laughs> hey, Cries, welcome! Hope you're doing well. Has, you were learning Mahjong, Neville? Awesome. We all know the truth, and you're allowed to say it. His gay partner. <laughs> I am brown and soft, and I'm very squishy, too. I am buoyant. I'm very squishy. I enjoy that. <laughs> Blob. Just, just a little, a little blob. A little blob frog. You actually got to make points? Hell yeah. Thank you. Wouldn't your shape cause you to float upside down if placed in water doodle? Yeah, because I got a big dumpy. Thank you for the wellness pack. Let me stretch. Yeah. Already sitting up straight and sit. Yeah. Yeah. You know it. You know how it be, be bump. But, um, so we just found a painting, or a little photo behind this painting here. I wonder who they are. Uh, couldn't be Mila, the, the girl that we saw earlier. Oh, thank you for the follow, Magpie! You got the little doo Thank you for the follow. Ooh, Cabal and Nebel playing Mahjong together. It's a painting of some apples. I still don't get why it's on the floor. I don't get why it's on the floor either. Uh, I don't know if there's anything we can do to interact with it. But I think we can keep it there for now. Remember everyone, if you see an absolute massive green ass floating in the water, it's probably Doodle. Save them, or I will drown. Because because frogs can live in the water, right? But not not for too long once they're fully grown. Hm? You wish you could be his gay partner? Well, he's he's not taken in canon, so you could. You could be his gay partner. <laughs> I'd love to see just one bed that looked like it's been slept in. <laughs> Because apparently Rosa is really good at cleaning. I really don't get why the painting is down. Give a romantic review of the next NPC. Abandoned lungs return to tadpole. Oh, I wish I could return to tadpole when life was easier. But I wouldn't be as round. But Jello, do you want me to review Kyle Hyde or the next uh, character I see? You play- oh, is it like the online game Cabal that you're talking about? Kyle? I would bang Kyle. I wouldn't necessarily marry him, because he seems like a grumpy bitch, but, you know. <laughs> I can see the highway from the window. Oh, okay. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, 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 wow. 
Okay, so I think we found the proof that we need, so let us leave. Oh, okay, I thought someone was gonna be out. Oh, okay, it's stopping me. Someone's gonna be here. How am I magic? Wait, what makes me magic? Being a frange? Wait, what did he say? What did he say? I did not see what he said. I just realized my hyper focus was broken. Well, now you are you are in the stream, and it has magically broken your hyper focus. <laughs> the cakes give me power. Well, is is that a good thing or a bad thing that your hyper focus was broken? Do I got a knock on one of the doors? I have no idea where I'm I'm supposed to go next uh, since. Since I didn't read the the guiding text. I don't know. <laughs> well, you're broken out of it, and now you can hyper focus on, on anything else or just uh like just chill. All I know is green frongo. <laughs> yes. Only frongus. Only frongus. Only me. Also knocking on doors. Okay, I don't know where I'm supposed to go, but let's go on the roof. Is it locked? Oh no, okay. Oh, I love being on the roof. Especially when no one's here. Oh, that sounds like the Zelda theme. Oh yeah, do any of you guys play idle games? Oh yeah, by the way, Nebel, um, if you're still there, I played that Cube Escapes game that you recommended recently, mostly because I, uh, I was playing it during my plane rides, and you can play them offline. It was pretty fun. I liked it. Thank you for the recommendation. I, I played the Seasons game. And that was pretty fun. And I just downloaded the app on the App Store that was like, I think it's all the games combined. Yeah. It was nice to pass the time, and it was like difficult enough that I didn't just get it right away. I'm supposed to be having having drinks with the with an old woman soon. But yeah, thanks again for the recommendation. Rosa, will you talk to me? Got a minute? What is it? Mr. Hyde, I have a ton of work to do. I can't chat now. Busy, busy, busy. Okay, she's still busy. I might have to look up a guide since I missed the the guiding text. You didn't know there was a pack? Yeah, I I haven't actually like opened it up yet, but I downloaded an app that was just called Cube Escapes with no like um no colon or anything to specify like how specific it was, so I just assumed it was like a bunch of the games. Ow! It says office. Nobody's in. Oh yeah, and another game that I played was called like Speed Run Simulator. It's like an idle game. And it's nice to see how how uh, far it's gone because my my friend actually developed the game and he had me beta test it or just test it on the app store and I was like oh cool and it has like a bunch of like reviews and downloads on the app store. Someone went into my room, but it's a really solid game. If you guys like idle games, uh, it's it's very good. Speed runner or speed run simulator or something. Who the, f who the fuck left my bathtubs on? The 
floor is wet. Did someone piss in here? Sponsored stream. Go play my friend's game now. My water bottle fell. <laughs> Speed run simulator. Any percent. No out of bounds. Well, it's probably not a, a no out of bounds game because apparently like you can use glitches in it. But I managed to play it for like a few hours. The floor is wet. Is it coming from the bathroom? Why is the floor wet? I don't know. Maybe I should smell it. <laughs> is that the toilet? Backwards long jump directly from the main menu into the credits of Speedrun Simulator. <laughs> Speedrun the Speedrun Simulator. Oh god, what am I doing? Am I? The stupid thing won't flush. Why not? Is there something stuck in the, in the thing? Yeah. Why don't you look inside the toilet bowl? Well, you little, you little fucking. I have to move this. Come on. Why is it that hard to open it? What the fuck? First using a crowbar to open the, to get a desk open, and now this? Kyle, you're a strong man. You can do it. Wherever the floor is wet, I always gotta smell it to make sure it isn't cat piss. Yeah, Cries knows what's up. You gotta smell it first. Maybe I should drink this liquid up to make sure it wasn't Bradley. I know what Bradley's liquid smells like. Come on. Why not look in the bowl, Kyle? Why don't you why don't you do a little Why is it so hard to move this? What the heck is this puzzle? <laughs> There's something in the tank. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. Why is there money in the tank? Ah, oh, come to Papa. I got a stack of cash that was hidden in the toilet tank. The stack the cash was in plastic bag? Money in the tank, huh? Oldest trick in the book. How did this get here? Well, until I find out, I probably shouldn't keep this much cabbage on me. Why are you calling it cabbage? Kyle, bull, slurp up. You know you wanna, huh? Phone again. Mmm, <coughs> toilet water. Yeah, I, I know it's old slang for money, but it's just so funny. Like, the slang. I wonder how long I can make uh, her wait. Better answer that. Nah, just wait like 10 minutes. Let it ring for a while. Kappa J. Kappa Gay. Hide. Hey, Rachel. What's wrong, hun? You sound out of sorts. What happened? Well, you know, like. Bradley pissed on my carpet, and I have to clean it up. <laughs> Making the shmoney, the money that may or may not have been stolen. Me and Trouble just had a little run-in. You? Trouble? I don't believe it. I found a stack of cash inside my room's toilet tank. What? Seriously? Yeah, looks to be about 20 large there. 20 grand?! What the fuck?! That much money?! What's it doing in your toilet? Or is it like 2,800? So it's like 2,000. I'm not sure. It didn't look like a lot of money from like two stacks. Somebody has a high fiber diet? How the hell should I know? So what are you going to do? Whoever stashed the loot in my john is somewhere in this hotel. I'm gonna find him and I'm gonna ask him a few simple questions. Or her, it could have been a her. With your mouth or your fists. Don't go and do anything too crazy, Kyle. Last thing we need is for you to get caught up in something dangerous. Don't worry, I'm already caught up in something dangerous. Large typically means a thousand? Holy shit, that's a lot of money. That is not- he should not- yeah, he should return that pretty quick. Don't worry, you're pretty head. I can take care of myself. Asking for moderation will get me nowhere, right? Hey, moderation is my middle name. Now tell me about Ostrozone. I've got a friend who works in an art museum. She's looking into it. 
I'll give you a call as soon as I hear anything about your mystery painter. Do it. Talk to you soon? Yeah. Hey, I'm gonna go figure something to eat and refresh myself because it's HOT! You'll be in lurk mode? Enjoy your lurk, Neville, and I hope you enjoy your food, too. And yes, it's been pretty hot lately. I'm not in- in your- I'm- Wait, you're in Brazil, aren't you? So it's- it's hotter than where I am. <laughs> I hope it doesn't get too hot. It's been hot where I am, too, but mostly just in my room, because it's like, no ventilation. Alright, what's next? Wonder if anything else going down in the hotel. Think I'll wander around and see what's what. Okay, thank you for the for the pointers, Kyle. Um, I will definitely listen to them in the future. It's been pretty nice over here. Yeah, me and Kreis live in like the same area. It's been pretty nice, but for some reason my room just loves holding on to heat. It's been too hot for days. <laughs> As too hot in Brazil, and in Europe it was too fucking windy, and where I am it's perfect, but my room just hates me. Do 10 squats? Oh, okay. Well, I gotta do squats to comm commemorate being back. Let's go. Cold as piss here? Aw. Oh. Super cold for weeks? It was like really windy a few weeks ago where I am. One. Oh, my legs. Two. Three. Four. Five. Oh, I'm really out of shape. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Angie face? Yeah, that's my squatting face. <laughs> Thank you for the wellness pack. Sit. Stretch. And I was already sitting up straight. Noodle is a bossy boots, but she'll she's still adorable. She was so bouncy when I took her for a walk today. Aw, so was Noodles. I'm glad you guys got to spend some nice time together going on a walk. I want to see a bouncy cat. Anyone around? Anyone around? Oh, hello, Jeff. Oh, wow. Okay, I think this is Jeff's chapter because we've been seeing Jeff so much. Hey, you got a minute? What? What are you up to? Seriously? You're looking straight at me, and you can't tell what I'm doing? Well, fuck you too, Jeff. Well, you need Dunning, right? You got business with the front desk? That's right. That's why I'm standing here. What do you need? I don't think that's any business of yours. You got a minute? You're bugging me. Go away, will you? <laughs> God, this little bitch. <laughs> okay, so I know that I know. Um, I'm gonna start going into hotel dusk shipping, which is kind of weird because the, the the game doesn't really have many characters. Well, I guess it does. I remember some uh, <laughs> drop kick this fucking guy. Yeah. But I, I remember there are some fanfics of Jeff and Kyle, and then there is also Jeff, not Jeff, uh, Kyle and Louie, and uh, Kyle and Rachel. I think they shipped them. I'm saying they, not me. Don't ask me how I know this. There's 12 year old me. But you can see the dynamic, right? You know, like a little brat and Kyle. No one answers when I knock. Do I just open the door? Doodle ships the OTP Kyle Bradley. Well, I don't know what happens in the second game, but I'm not gonna spoil this game. You'll see. Mm. 
but yes, Kyle and Bradley, OGP. Who's Rachel again? She's the pretty lady on the phone who like flirts with you. Let's see, can I go in here? Yeah, so like people ship them because you know, she's the one who constantly flirts with you. But they never really interact past their phone calls. Maybe Kyle's by? I believe it. He's probably by. Knock, knock, knock. Is there a party someone didn't tell me about? <laughs> Kyle is feeling left out. <laughs> but Kyle's sexuality is pretty, uh... I guess it... He's never really, uh, talked about his relationships. He doesn't really talk about it in this game. Oh, there's Rosa. So you never really get a read on his sexuality. Ah, someone's in the hall. Oh, it's you. What are you doing? Kyle's been ace the entire time. Yo, some ace representation? I'd be fine with that too. I had some business with Summer, but where is he? I don't know. He's not in his room. Oh, things are never easy for Rosa, let me tell you. Gosh darn it. I have to get back to the kitchen right away. Why do you need Summer? Is it because- Oh, I think she wants an autograph, doesn't she? She's a fan of his books. What do you want to do with Summer? Huh, what? What do I want? What do you think I want? I want his autograph. Oh. That's right. It's not often we have a best-selling author stay here. You've got to strike while the iron's hot, you know? Sure you do. Wait a minute. Now wait just one minute. Your showing up has given me an idea, Mr. Hyde. This doesn't sound good. Oh, hush now. Here, I want you to take this. What is it? It's one of Mr. Summer's novels, of course. The, I take Summer's novel from Rosa, called The Secret Word. <laughs> nice, but I'm more of a sports page kind of guy. Don't get smart with me, mister. Just get Mr. Summer to sign it, okay? Good. Look, I'm busy. Why do I have to? Because I have to get back to the kitchen. That's why. Now stop grumbling. Don't forget, Mr. Hyde. Don't you dare. Look, I'm not. Wait a second. Rosa turns and rushes away. Damn it! God damn it. Okay, it's 8.20 now. That was a lot of, a lot of time. Rosa's precious. Yeah, she is. I, I like that mom energy. Mr. High, please com complete this fetch quest for me. Yes, this is a, basically a, a fetch quest. Okay, where the fuck is Summer? True mom energy is rare these days, right? Not just like you know, mommy-ish energy, but like, actual mom energy. Like, she is an actual mom. She probably, I think she is. Why aren't you playing the hit new game? You mean Elden Ring, TM? The one that you're so addicted to? Okay, I don't think there's anything in here. Mother energy. Big, strong mother energy. Cup Penguin? <laughs> I, I'll, I'll play Cup Penguin. <sighs> My guitar teacher said I would make a good teacher? Oh, that's really nice praise. Like, what, what would you want to teach if you became a teacher? Why aren't you playing Dark Souls 8, Doodle? Come on. Why aren't you playing Dark Souls? Come on, Doodle. Why are you playing it? You're getting Elden Ring? Nice, Cabal. I heard it's fun. Wait, did they even shut down Club Penguin Rewritten? 
even the 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 new one there's somebody at the front desk okay okay they're still there they're still there that's I'm telling you that's why I'm here oh I ain't trying to call you a liar or nothing it's just it's been stolen there's no doubt about it Oh no, don't tell me Jeff is the one that planted the cash inside my toilet. I can't if the fan one is still up, I'd assume so. I mean, wasn't Club Penguin shut down a long ass time ago? Why are you why are you telling me like I'm going to be surprised about it? Math or biology or cooking or even English? Oh. Would you want to teach? Like is it something that you would want to do? Well, let me see here. I demand that you start looking. I want this hotel searched now. Look, son. I mean, Mr. Angel. Do me a favor, will ya? Take one more look through your things. No, I've looked enough, you corn-fed hick. Holy shit! Who does he think he is? Why am I standing here repeating myself? It's been stolen. Do you understand what I'm telling you? Get off your lazy butt and start looking. Keep your voice down. I ain't no need to start in with the screaming and hollering. You're just gonna get the other guest all in a panic. He called him corn fed. Well, I do love corn. <laughs> I like helping others, so maybe it's kind of hard to find something that I'm motivated to do. Yeah, I I feel that cries. Really, you use corn fed when you're talking about someone who's thick? Does does corn go to your thighs and butt? Mm -mm. Nom, 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 nom. Like I care. Besides, it's too late to worry about that. Look, that guy's already heard, and he hardly seems panicked. Huh? Something happened? Yes, it has. Ain't nothing. We was just having a bit of a jaw is all. Corn is high in sugar, hence corn syrup. Ah... Roblox nom 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 sound? I have not heard that nom 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 sound, but I'm sure it's great. Mr. Angel, let me back to you, get back to you in a bit. I'll come up with your room as soon as I can. Don't make me wait. Jeff storms away from the front desk. What was that about? Got a minute? Whoa. That's the kid staying up in room 213, right, Jeff Angel? Yep. What were you two chatting about? Ain't nothing. Nothing at all. Forget about it, will ya? Hold it. Uh, I don't know why I should choose. Discord? Yeah, we have a Discord. If you aren't part of it, join. This has been an advertisement. I don't know if he wants to be pressed more. What kind of guess is Jeff e Guy anyway? The worst kind, let me tell ya. Guy wants softer towels. Guy wants some fancy Italian thing for dinner. He's a namby-pamby, whiny little mama's boys. That's what he is. I'd like to introduce his ass to my boot. Me too, Dunning. Yes, the Discord is a nice little place to chill. Franj will put you to work in the mines if you join, you can't leave? No, that's not how it is. Yeah, epic anime night. We'll be watching Cowboy Bebop Saturday night after stream. The chill doesn't mind itself. <laughs> Of course, I can't do that. Customer is a customer, after all. I just have to grin and bear it. You know the drill. Pardon me, do you have a moment? Oh, it's him. Huh? Do you, perchance, have a copy of the newspaper? Huh? Paper? Yes, I was rather hoping to read the morning's fish wrap. Fish wrap? What the fuck is the fish wrap? We get worked like Frange clones in there, but then Doodle lets us watch anime sometimes. It balances out. 
Yeah, you guys get a little, little reward for your hard work. Your hard work of working for me, the Franz General of the Franz Army Base. <laughs> oh, Free Cabal? It, it's just any time after my stream on Saturday, so probably around like like five or so. 5 p.m. EST. Wap wa da wap wa wa. Oh shoot, had one laying around here earlier. Here you go, take this. Com compliments uh, the the dusk. Thank you, my good man. Just throw it on the table in front of the couch when you're done. All right. <laughs> yeah, 5 p.m. EST is, is a safe bet. Yeah, yeah. General. Squints, wears your peak cap, raises an eyebrow. Mmm. Mmm, where's your peak cap? Oh, you'll be streaming then? Well, we'll probably go on for a while because we're gonna be watching like a bunch of cowboy bebop, so maybe maybe you can catch catch the tail end. Oh yeah, you're on hiatus. <laughs> Thank goodness for a hiatus, at least at this time, right? It's like getting a pizza party back in elementary school. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you suffer through school and then you get a little pizza party. Did you guys ever do a little school store thing? Like uh, in your classroom? Did you guys ever do like have fake money that you would earn from doing good things in class? And then like every interval, I don't know if it was every week or every month, there would be like, you could buy candy and stuff. Yeah, and like little toys. That was amazing. I was so motivated during class when, when that happened because I loved getting the little chips. Uh, a little fringe like the chips. Oh, you were missing out, Cabal. It was nice. Of course. Summer moves away. You had a ticket store. Yeah, yeah. A little ticket store. I think it was tickets. I'm not sure if it was money or tickets, but same sa same jive. Got a minute? Dear me, what is this world coming to? Wait, what? Is he too busy reading the paper? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, Summer. Okay, you won't let me talk. What is it? I have no questions for him, actually, so... Oh, should I show him the money? I should show him the money. I gotta return it anyway. Hey! The hell's this? Oh no! Game over! No! So it was you, eh? What? Don't try and worm your way out of this. I knew there was something fishy about you. And now you proved me right, you low-down thief. Get out! Get the hell out of my hotel! What? <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen. That's not how I expected him to act. It's been stolen. There's no doubt about it. I demand that you start looking. I want this hotel searched now. Fucking hell. I gotta go for my last save? Oh, wow. They put me in a gifted program starting fifth grade, and at one point we got to spend fake money on donuts. Oh, calculating the most efficient fake money to donut ratio. It turned out donut holes are the best bang for your fake bucks. That sounds amazing. God damn it. Okay, that's the checkpoint. Nice. Okay, so I just gotta talk to Rosa. I think. Okay. Alright, uh, this is right after we talk to Rosa. Thank you, in-game checkpoints. I, I did not ex- I thought I was supposed to show him the money! Yes, Cries, that was a good uh, representation of what he did to me. <laughs> I was also put in a gifted cr program in school. Uh, it was starting in like, what was it? Third or fourth grade, though? It was called, like, Futura or something. 
I was in the gifted program till my neurodivergences were noticed and I was thrown out. Uh, that's great. That's that's really nice. There's a thin line be between gifted and what they call special. Er, er, quote unquote. Because <laughs> I kept hearing people in school say that. Not, not exactly what I said, but just like calling people special. Yeah, it fucks kids up because they they think that like being gifted is what makes them important, and that you don't like. Yeah, I ain't trying to blah 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 blah. Oh, at least it lets me skip through. Not skip, but it goes faster. You were in special classes. I, I wasn't, but m my friends were. And I would visit them sometimes. But it did not seem, uh, I, I don't know how it was, but it didn't seem fun. Uh, at least, like, all the classes were, like, basically, like, you were in this, like, cramped room or something. There was, like, a... They only had one classroom for it. Or, like, two for each, or one for each floor. Speaking! Nothing is a challenge at that point, which, come on, it usually starts in elementary school. And all of a sudden, you expect... You don't have to study and feel like shit when you study and aren't special anymore. Come high school. Or college, too. Or college, too. In high school, what they do to make you feel special is, uh... Is AP classes. Which actually has some worth, because you can get college credit, but, like... People... Will like advanced placement or something. They were no longer interested in me when I was in second grade? Wait! They sent you a letter when you're in the first grade? That's fucking messed up. Why are they why are they looking at elementary schoolers? But yeah, uh, gifted programs like that are, aren't good. Like, they should just make the regular programs better instead of just sil siloing the gifted, quote-unquote, people away. Yeah, I guess I'll just look around. Okay, that's what I was supposed to do. I only got into special classes when I was in the third grade. Oh, okay. You're reading at a high school level in first grade? Holy shit, Cabal! <laughs> Damn! All I'm saying is pretty much all of the people I was in that program with me were de also depressed now? Uh, I'm trying to- I don't really talk with the people that I was in programs with because I moved away from where I was. So I don't really, like, I'm not really close to them anymore. But I wouldn't be surprised if they were depressed. I mean, I, I'm one of them. And I'm depressed. Also, one second, I need to blow my nose. I back. But yeah, I well the thing was that was that. I, I never really started getting bad grades. I know, what torture. What torture, right? I, I had a really high GPA in college. But the thing was, is I knew how to study. After the school year ended. Which is also bad in itself. You know, judging yourself based on grades. I remember when I was young. <laughs> I had to learn, like, the phases of the moon for... What? We back? We're back? Is it cutting out now? Oh, no. Oh, it's cause- it's cause I moved my, uh... I have a frange. I have a frange statue that Koro made. 
Yeah, I'm. I was moving my mic wires, so it should be fine now. Um, because I got a, a bronze statue from Coral, but it was being covered up by the mic wires, so I moved it away from it, and that probably caused it. We should be good. But yeah, like I, I was saying before, was that. Um, I never really stopped getting good grades, but that was mostly because I was so bent on- I knew how to basically s study the way that mm, school wanted me to study. And so I learned that way. But it was really stressful. Um, you know, boohoo, I got good grades. But I remember when I was young, whenever I would get any- I, I felt bad for getting anything below a B. And when I was young, I remember crying over not being able to get things correct or get a high enough grade on stuff. So it's kind of messed up, basing yourself on grades. And that's why I'm glad I'm out of school. Statue commemorating the likeness of King Frongus? Yes, it's an adorable statue. I look so great and it looks like exactly how Koro would draw me in statue form. And it also adds a little butt. Adds a little butt on it. <laughs> I love it. I might post a little picture. Wait a minute. What did Dunning say when I asked about Jeff? Ain't nothing. Nothing at all. Forget about it, will ya? He was about to spill something. I wonder what it was. Well, I can't get him to talk, so... Yeah, 100% accurately modeled Frange. Wasn't as preoccupied with school as I was with other stuff, but that's a whole other can of worms. You had a lot of other stuff going on in your life. The thing is, I'm a people pleaser. I guess you can say that. So the teachers always were okay with me. I never really stood out, I guess. But for some reason, teachers, some teachers really liked me. They, they thought I was on their side. People pleaser. Even though I just didn't really fucking care. Well, I was just awkward. I guess it's not that I didn't care. I just didn't know how to interact with people. Especially adults. Because for me, I would just interact with adults like I thought how I should interact. Haha, <laughs> you're a smart ass! <laughs> I wish I could have spoken out more. I was just, you know, the good kid. People were always surprised when they learned I cussed or something. I was just like, uh, okay. Most of my teachers said I was a ray of sunshine. Oh, you little ray of sunshine, you good little kid. Students loathe me? Well, fuck them. Should I talk with Summer? I gotta talk with him. Summer, will we, are you done reading the paper? Fuck you! Oh, do I gotta... Can I show him something? I do! Let me make a safe state. Wap, 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 wap. Students were kind of so-so, like they thought it was a I was okay to hang around, but I was by myself most, most of the time. Ah, uh, I see. Show him these fucking hands. Oh. Oh, here it is. Okay. I, I didn't notice that there was a question mark that got added. When I asked you about Jeff earlier, you decided to say something. You want to fill me in? Ain't nothing. Just another fire I have to put out is all.
So what's his problem? Well, to tell you the truth, I don't want to get the other guests all up in a lather, see? So let's keep this between me and you, okay? Sure. Sounds like something's been stolen. Guess Angel Boy went down to the restaurant for a bite to eat. When he got back to his room, he noticed something missing. Like what? Like what? Please continue the conversation. So what got lifted? I ain't gonna tell you that. What if you're the one who stole it? Yeah, just go and hide it. Are you serious? You suspect me? You think I had something to do with this? No offense intended, right? I ain't trusting nobody but me on this. You got that? Oh, that's completely valid, Dunning. It could be anyone. Now I gotta handle this with kid gloves so I, I it don't get all blown out of whack. Okay. Summer, are you done? Okay, it looks like he's done. <sighs> Sometimes I fear for our future generations, which is us. Hey there, Spirisec. Oh, hello there, Mr. Hyde. I must tell you about this article I was reading in the newspaper. It seems there was a burglary in Beverly Hills last night. Quite brazen, really. The victim was an attorney named Larry Damon. Mr. Damon happens to be a friend of mine, you see. I do hope he's doing well. Oh, I wonder if Mr. Damon is going to be important later. I don't know, maybe he's dropping a little hint. A blur burglary? You know, what burglary, perhaps? Maybe a shit ton of money that I now have? Yes, well, I apologize for the tangent. Did you perchance need something? You know Rosa, the maid? Well, she asked me for a favor. You mind signing this book for her? Seems she's a big fan of yours. Oh, but of course. Also, don't mind the spoilers. I guess it wasn't really a spoiler, but you know, you can you can kind of easily make the connection. But I guess if you don't know the story, you don't you can't unless you really think about it. Great. But it's just like whenever any name is like mentioned in this game, you should probably t pay attention to it if they're being named. I apologize, but would you mind bringing it up to my room later? I apologize for the trouble, but hell, why not? I'm already in this thing up to my eyeballs anyway. Summer puts down the newspaper and leaves the lobby. Summer! Why am I walking so slow? It's already 8.40, holy shit. Oh, it's 7.40, I can't read the clock. Who even looks at clocks anymore? Not like I got one on my desk or anything, which I do. Rosa, what are you doing standing there? Ooh, look, she's got her feather duster. Damn, that's a mommy pose if I ever saw one. Rosa's cleaning. Shouldn't she be cooking dinner? Ah, thank you for the head pat! Thank you. Stop, stop! I'm cleaning the hallway, Mr. Hyde. You'll have to wait. Look, I just need to get through here. I said wait. Now wait. I'll be done in a little bit, okay? Fine. But I'm glad to see you anyway. Did you get Mr. Summer's autograph for me like I asked? Wow! Pat the blob, yes. Pat, pat, and squish the little blob. I asked him, but I don't have it yet. You don't? Why not? What's the holdup? Land sakes, it's not hard. Well, you're the holdup, Rosa. Don't growl at me about it. Want it done fast? Should have done it yourself. Hell, Summer just walked by a few minutes ago. He walked through here? Mr. Summer? Really? Yeah, I was just talking to him by the front desk. Stop teasing me, Mr. Hyde. I've been cleaning here for longer than that. Mr. Summer did not come anywhere near me, and for a fact. Wait, that doesn't make sense. He said he was going back to his room. It's on the second floor, right? So then he had to come through here. Well, usually, but... Maybe he saw me cleaning and used the other set of stairs. Ooh, other set of stairs, secret stairs. Yeah, the the video for the head pat implementation. I did not look at it. 
I was gonna look at it like sometime maybe this week or next week. Whenever I get the motivation to work on stream tech stuff. But it is on the back of my mind. Squish me like a stress ball? Maybe not that much. Maybe not that much. Maybe like a light squish. Hey. What do you mean, other stairs? I mean, the stairs that aren't these stairs. The back stairs. Maybe use the back stairs to get his to his room. Wow, 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 wow. So, where are the back stairs? Just go out the door in the lobby and head down the right hallway. You can't miss the stairs. They go, they go up to, well, they go up to the second floor, of course. I bet Mr. Summer used them when he saw me cleaning these in here. Mm-hmm. Got it. You can go ahead and use them, but you have to remember something. The door to the stairs is locked on the second floor side. Don't forget about my autograph, all right? Promise me now. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have to sniff these stairs for a while to see if Bradley's been through here. Gotta do a little sniff. Ah. <sighs> Oh no, my my nose has been congested. Not because of any sickness or anything. My nose is always congested, as I mentioned before. But like, I just sniffed in some fronge mucus. Ooh, a new level. Guess these are the stairs Rosa was talking about. Can I explore? Main office. Dunning's room. I like the sound of the floor. It sounds old. Rosa's room. Storage. Okay, so we'll, we'll be here again sometime. Franch sniffs because mucus overload? Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Gotta sniff it in. Smeagy's purring? Oh, a little purring Smeagy. <coughs> a door down the hall opens and someone comes out. Oh! Oh, it's Dunning. He looks grumpy as ever. Oh no, Dunning. Are you okay? Where, where is he? Where is Dunning? Oh, he's over there. Even to Mr. Hyde. Oh, he looks really sad. <coughs> so what's behind that door? It's not a guest room, is it? Huh? What is this, 20 questions? It's just a utility closet, since you have to know. Ah, <coughs> uh, I've been talking too much. My voice has, has... My voice would already get sore before, but now it's like... I've been gone for two weeks. Another reason to join the Discord. Cries posts cat pics often. Yeah, the cute little cat pics. Yeah. Yep, it's where we keep stuff for cleaning and so forth. I was just trying to find some things. Your bellboy lose more packages? Real comedian, ain't ya? No, not this time. To be honest with ya, I'm in a bit of a pickle. Why is that? Well, some hotel equipment has gone missing. Oh, you mean the equipment that I took and never gave back? Uh... What's missing? Some tools from a toolbox I keep in the linen closet. Oh! Oh! <laughs> like the tools that I have! Uh-oh. Someone noticed they're gone. Put them all together, and I bet they ain't worth two bits, but still... I'd like to find the thief and take it out of his hide. Maybe I'll get lucky and whoever took him will just put him back. Stranger things have happened. And some things have vanished from my office too. Oh boy! Oh no, I'm sweating a little bit. I'm, 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 oh. I'm getting a little sweaty. Don't mind me, Dunning. Don't matter if those get returned or not. I find the thief, he's out of here. That's so? Bet your ass. And to top it off, I still got more crap to deal with today. 
Now it's a nutcase guest. Nutcase, huh? You mean Jeff? I want to take it out of his hide. <laughs> yep, that's the one. Oh, I need some punk shooting off his mouth, mouth about how something got stolen. I'm gonna keep asking questions about the stolen thing. I'm just gonna keep asking until he cracks. Cash. Okay, he finally tells me. He finally tells me. He wasn't telling me before. Money, huh? Couldn't be. You haven't pieced it together, Hyde? Aren't you a cop? Yep, now he's telling me I gotta search every guest's things. I tell ya, I got a headache the size of Texas. Oh, that's a big headache. Do me a favor and keep your eyes open, will ya? You see anyone acting all suspicious? You let me know. Totally not me. To to not me at all at doing all this stuff. I want to nip this thing in the bud before it gets out of hand. Sure. Dunning hinting that he knows who did it because he remembers that game over. He's he's traveled through different timelines. <laughs> Thanks, pal. All right, I gotta get on it. Hold on a second. Huh? There's something you said when I checked in that's been bugging me. You said there was another guest a while back with the same name as me, right? I did? Same name as you? Oh, yep, that's right. I did. I remember now. Could you tell me a little more about the guy? Well, he was tall and he dressed a lot nicer than you. Yeah, yeah, you told me that already. You got anything besides a fashion report? No, nah, that's it. Great. What's going on, Mr. Hyde? Why are you so interested in this guy, anyway? Dunning's all-powerful? He's got 999 powers? Yeah! He's, he's a 999 cameo? Eldritch? More than room and board for a certain nosy ex-detective. He's gonna charge his life. Oh well, truth is, I'm kind of looking for somebody. I'm gonna stay sweaty as long as I'm talking to Duncan because he's just gonna game over me. Kinda? Either you're looking or you ain't, pal. So who are you trying to find? Guy I used to work with. Hmm, that's so? Sorry, but I don't remember anything else. Hell, I'm lucky I remember my own name. <laughs> oh, Dunning. Same. Yeah, I hear you. I'll see you later. What the hell is it called in Zero Escape? Telemorphic... Telemorphic field? That sounds about right. I forget exactly. I'm gonna play your sanity like the strings of a violin. Thank you, Dunning. Dunning turns and stops off to continue to continue his search for justice. Okay. Dunning's gone. I can be less sweaty now. Well, someone finally opens the door for me, my fronge, but can come through and I can eat all of your snacks in your room and take over your life. <coughs> Morphogenetic field. <laughs> you need an autograph, did you not? Please, please, come in. My philographist friend. What the fuck does that mean? What the fuck does that mean, Summer? <laughs> I come in, brap. I leave. You're welcome. That was a little gift. Can I get that autograph? Most certainly. Now where should I pen my John Hancock? My John Hancock. <laughs> you get asked for autographs a lot. Oh, yes. I'm afraid it's become a part of my daily life. There's so many fans who wish for me to sign this or that, you see? Oh, what a lol. Prick. And the requests to have photographs taken together are numerous as well. To be frank, there are times when it all wears quite thin. But then again, when you're a famous writer such as myself, well... It seems I can't go any anywhere without drawing a crowd. He looks so smug. That is why I was so excited for this chance to relax and unwind. I had hoped to find solace in this unknown hotel, but some things never change. 
They're around Dunning begins to smell like burning wood, and throat singing becomes audible as he nears, and you, your palms sweat. Doesn't get much more unknown than this, huh? Agreed, yes, at times when I find myself drained by the rigors of the craft. I will oft times set out in my automobile and let the open road take me where it will. On these journeys, I make a habit of staying at cheap and unknown hotels. He straight up looks like your dad, really? It does Summer look like your dad? <laughs> no, Martin Martin looks at, like your dad. Wait, who's Martin? This is a... Well, I guess his last name is Martin, maybe? I forget. His first name is... Er, his pen name is Summer. So you just decided to stay here on a whim? Oh yeah, his name tag here is Martin. Okay. But they keep calling him Summer. That's correct. Really? Yes, really. Why is this overblown windbag lying to me? There's no way he could have a package delivered here if that were true. Wait, what did he say? Yeah, I labeled him as Martin. I saw him now. Got a minute? Uh, well, I need to give the novel to him. Sign this, will you? Certainly. Let me just take up the pen and... Hmm? Well, I was certain my pen was just here. How odd. Oh, it's the fountain pen. Unfortunately, I seem to have misplaced my pen. Bother. I can't very well sign anything without a pen now, can I? I have a pen for you. Maybe? This yours? Why? Yes, it is. I picked it up earlier. Is that so? You have my gratitude, sir. So this pen is Summer's? I guess Summer Martin is just his pen name, and his real name is probably like Alan or something that was on the pen. Was that your fountain pen? Yes, it was. Really? I said yes, and I meant it. Is there some sort of problem, Mr. Hyde? What's your name? My name? My dear man, have you forgotten already? It's Martin Summer. Oh, it's Mar Martin Summer. Exactly, your name's Martin Summer. But that's not the name inscribed on the pen. I DM'd you a pic of my dad to see you later? Alright, thank you, Cabal. The name on the pen is Alan. So, you want to tell me again that this is really your pen? Well, what are you implying, sir? It is most certainly my pen. Alan is... Alan is my real name. Oh, yeah? Yeah, Mar Martin Summer is my nom de plume. My pen name, if you will. However, my real name is Alan. Alan Parker. That's comforting. Well, you just... You just I am more powerful now. Because I know your real name. I know your true name. Now I can beat you in a holy grail war. <laughs> Sign this, will you? Of course. Summer signs the book. Takes his time about it, too. Is this acceptable? I must say, securing my autograph is not usually such a simple task. Normally, there are lines to be waited in and such, but let us consider this a favor. Okay, I'm done with you. Mr. Hyde, if you will excuse me for a moment. Where are you going? I fear I need to use the facilities. <laughs> Why the fuck is he calling the facilities? I love I loved reading his lines because he's, he sounds like such a fucking proper guy. Sure, knock yourself out. Oh, does this give me a chance to snoop around? Why does he have so much alcohol? Bottle of hooch on the table? It is... This must be a test. <laughs> no, hi, do not drink the alcohol. Empty can of beer can. Looks like my old place. Hmm, it's that notebook again. Let's see what all the fuss was about. The sun sets and the city shifts. Traffic reverses direction as people abandon their offices and shops to join the evening commute. They take the sounds of the day with them as they go, leaving me alone in a... Hold on. I've read this crap before. 
Right. The book I had Summer's sign. Sorry to keep you waiting. Hmm? What is it now? Huh? Oh, nothing. Mr. Hyde, may I ask what it is you were looking at? Do it, Kyle. Consume. Consume. Kyle. Booze. Drink. Now. <laughs> nothing. I'll see you around. I leave room 211. Something about that notebook bugs me. Like, why would- why wouldn't he have the transcript to his own novel? Why did he have to get it shipped to himself? DRINK! Like, that- that is just quite strange. Well... Okay, I guess, uh, I gotta go give the stuff to Rosa now. fun. Yeah. Someone's coming up the stairs. <coughs> oh, it's Miss Bitch. Mr. Hyde. Yeah? Can I talk to you for a minute? That Mr. Smith is so rude. I cannot believe the nerve of that old man. Something happened? He stopped me in the hallway and searched my things. He searched your... things? Yes, he said, uh, some things are missing and I gotta look at your belongings. Ignorant hick. Do I look like a thief to you, Mr. Hyde? Do I? I am furious. You don't say. I promise you this, I will never stay in this hotel again. Iris turns and stomps off. I think I can see the steam coming out of her ears. This ain't good. I can't get caught walking around with anything I don't want folks to see. Okay, that that's good to know. Okay, let's uh let's put stuff in. Can I put stuff in my suitcase? Yeah, I think this is a part where like you have to put stuff away cuz if you get caught by Dunning, then he'll fucking kill you. Femme fatales always have secrets stashed everywhere. They're like more dangerous tall leprechauns. <laughs> that's that's a very interesting thing to compare them to. <laughs> oh, I can't put anything in here. I hid the stack of cash in my suitcase. Okay, that good, that worked. See, so broken suitcase key, pager. Okay, I don't want him to catch me with the tools either. Um, order sheet, men's magazine, pliers. Not going to get anywhere using this. Okay, so I hide the cash and I put the tools back in the toolbox, I think. Okay, I have regular cash, memo... Do I hide this? Tuck the memo away in my suitcase. Okay, okay, good. Because that was from his, uh, his thing. Put tools in toilet. Okay, I'm glad I'm actually getting this right. Okay. <laughs> Should I put the men magazine in there? Let's see if it lets me. Okay. <laughs> so Dunning is okay with me carrying a men's magazine. Put tools in toilet. Break toilet. Leprechauns have a pot of gold. Femme fatales have money, weapons, and blackmailing secrets. Yeah, that's true. You wouldn't want to find that. Should I put this in here too? Okay, I think Bradley's stuff is fine because Dunning probably isn't aware of it. Okay, I gotta put this away, though. Okay, anything else? 
Okay, I think I just gotta put the tools back and I should be good. I think I got ca caught by Dunning the first time I played this game because I didn't realize that the game telling me, oh, I should pre I don't want to be caught with stuff, meant, hey, hide your stuff, bitch. Let's go. Gotta clean up my mess. It's not letting me put stuff in here? I thought it was a... Uh... Oh, I think the toolbox is in the other room. We're not a thief. No, no way. Though you gotta agree that what Kyle was doing was not very cool. Yeah, I think I can interact with this. Wap, wap, wap. I love it when it goes the. Du -du 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 -du. Totally like the actual game. Pliers, time to go home. Thanks for your help. And done. Better put this screwdriver back in the toolbox. You and I never saw each other, okay? <laughs> oh, I love his little colored flower talk. It's not stealing if you're looking for your presumed dead gay ex-cop lover. <laughs> okay, takes care of that. Okay, that's all. It it's true. If you're looking for your dead gay ex-cop lover, um, you it's not stealing anymore. Okay, we got this. Everything good. Thin wire. Hotel brochure. Okay. Let me just try to put the thin wire back in my suit. See, look, Cries agrees with me too. Be gay, do crimes. No! No! We lost French audio? That's- Okay, that's why my, uh... That's why my captions didn't pick it up. What's wrong? Maybe it's because I'm shaking my desk? Is my mic really that sensitive? I don't know if it's the mic itself or, like, the actual outlet in the mic or, like, the wire that I use. Thanks for pointing it out, though, Bebop. Okay, we hit everything. Time to save. Check to see if the cable is pushed all the way in, maybe? Oh, yeah, it's, it's pushed all the way in. I think I, uh... Let me try again. If I cut out, that's why. What? Okay. So that just disconnected my microphone altogether. But I, it is pushed in all the way. I think it's just... I think the cable might just be weird. Let's go down. Maybe I'll have to buy a new cable. I, I think I can use an existing cable, though. Because it's USB-C to USB. And I have plenty of cables like that, so... Oh, I gotta look for Rosa. Okay. Yeah, that, that is making me a bit fronge sweaty. Rosa, here you are! 
I got Summer's autograph. What? You did? Are you serious? Don't fool old Rosa. It's a USB mic? Yeah, yeah. It's the one that I, um... The one that Hair uses? The one that was I was recommended? Oh, this is wonderful. Oh, look at Rosa. She looks so happy. Getting summer signature really make you that happy? Of course it does. That gives me 50. And 50 is nothing to sneeze at, let me tell you. What is 50 what? What? 50 what? Autograph, silly. I'm an autograph hound. I collect famous signatures. And Mr. Summers is number 50. Yeah, the ATR 2100X. Yeah, yeah. Got a thing for famous people's handwriting, huh? I wouldn't put it that way, but yes, I suppose so. Yes. I got my first one while waitressing at a little diner in Santa Monica. Funny enough, it was another novelist. I think it's been 16 years. Well, I've been picking them up here and there, and now I've got 50. You can see why I'm so happy now, can't you? So, where's my book? Here you go. Thanks! Where is it? Is this really his signature? You didn't write this yourself, did you? Oh, why, why doesn't she believe it? Forgery isn't it? my bag. Ha ha ha, I'm just teasing you. I know for a fact that this is really Mr. Summer's autograph. Mm-hmm. You see, Mr. Summer has a particular way of signing his name. I read a magazine interview where they discussed his distinctive penmanship. Oh, I don't know. Is his signature going to be something good, like, important? So, what's special about Summer's autograph? It's how he writes the er in Summer. Look closely, and you can see how distinct it is. Yeah, I, I can, I can kind of see it. I guess. And it's been like that for a long, long time. He said in an interview that he's been writing that way since he was a child. The letters E-R, huh? This sort of handwriting indicates someone who tells audacious lies. <laughs> but it indicates the person is a bit of a coward as well. What the fuck? Are you into horoscopes or something? Handwriting? Personality tests? I'm not gonna lie, Rosa. It looks like shit. Yeah, I would expect a fancier signature. You cook, clean, and do handwriting analysis? You're a marvel, Rosa. Puff fun all you want, Mr. Hyde, but there's truth to be found in penmanship. A lying coward, huh? Sounds like a fair description of writers to me. Oh, shit! Kyle! What are you saying about writers? Hey, you talking shit about writers here? Tell me something, will you? What? When was this book first published? Well, yeah, Cabal's going mad over here. No, Cabal isn't a lying coward. <laughs> Fuck you, Kyle. He just doesn't like art. Well, it won a Mystery of the Year award in 1969, so... Hey, <laughs> 69. Ten years ago? You have any more books by this guy? No, the only one I have is The Secret Word. This may sound rude, but I think it's the only one worth owning, really. That so? Yes, it is, Mr. Hyde. Summer published several books after The Secret Word, but none of them really took off, as they say. I'm not sure if he's what they call a one-hit wonder, but who knows? I'm sure it's no easy task writing a bestseller, after all. He must live fairly well off royalties, and that's something, right? Sure it is. Got one more thing to ask you. Is Martin Summer a pen name? No, sir. Uh-uh. Oh? It's not his pen name? Then who's Alan? That's his real name. I'm as sure of that as I am of anything. That's pretty sure. So all that business about a pen name was a cartload of bull. What's going on, Mr. Hyde? 
N nothing, Rosa. I'm just being nosy. Thanks. See you later. Sure. And thank you, Mr. Hyde. I leave the kitchen. Rosa is still clutching the book to her chest. So, <laughs> Summer's a bit, a bit suspicious. Summer's, Summer's story has more holes than a slice of Swiss. Time to chat him up again. Oh, okay, is this Summer's chapter? Are we gonna interrogate Summer now? I always forget the order because all the stories are kind of intermingled. Summer, you got a lot coming to you. I'm gonna save again. After I, I got kicked out of the whole shell, I do not want to get a game over again and like have all that happen and have to redo stuff. Summer, you got a big storm coming, and that storm is the Frange Army. Greetings, Mr. Hyde. Got a minute? Please, don't tell me you need another autograph. No, I've got some questions for you. <laughs> is that so? Very well, Mr. Hyde. Query away. Huh, you're about to have the worst experience of your life. Ooh. Buddha, Buddha, wow, Buddha, Buddha, wow. S <laughs> strikes a lackluster pose. <laughs> we'll be like the pilots. We'll, we'll be all lined up. We're like, you got another storm coming. Thanks, Summer. This won't take too long. What is it? <laughs> Summer does not does not um, notice the change in background music. Look, I'm just an average Joe, a salesman who doesn't st spend time reading, you know? But talking with you, a guy who's written a bestseller, got me to thinking. What's it like to write a book? To have strangers know you and all that jazz? So I was hoping you could fill me in on a couple of things. Like, how do you write a bestseller? Stuff like that. How does one write a best-selling novel? Is that what you're asking me? Yeah, I mean, you wrote the secret word, and everybody read it, right? So teach me. Tell me how to come up with a story that everyone loves. Oh, ho, ho. My dear man, the essence of a novel is not something so easily distilled. Come on, Summer. I ain't asking how to turn lead into gold. I just want a few pointers so I can take a stab at this writing gig myself. Kyle? A writer? The one who says they're just cowardly liars? Mr. Hyde? What are you thinking? It's very nearly impossible. Wait, hold on. I guess I got the idea after seeing that notebook. Notebook? Yeah, the old notebook that got delivered to me by mistake. That was the manuscript for your novel, right? I mean, it looked like the same story to me. What, what do I know? So anyway, that's how you get started writing a book, right? Yes, but... Mr. Hyde, you read my notebook? You read it! Yeah, I did. And you know what else? There's something odd about it. The handwriting in the notebook? Not yours. Um... Oh yeah, I, I took a look at his handwriting. Give it up. The handwriting inside didn't look anything like your signature. Maybe you, I don't know, dictated your story to someone? This this conversation is beyond the pale, sir. Beyond the pale indeed. The temptation to give Kyle an atomic wedge he only intensifies over time? Aw, oh, come on, he's a, he's, a, he's a little bastard, but he's a lovable one. You know what else? See, I can't get that pen out of my head. Uh, so? You can't be too direct, I feel. Otherwise, I'll just get him too flustered. Does that pen really belong to you? Oh, no, that was wrong. Are you implying something, sir? It is indeed my pen. Okay, let's go over this again. Enough. I cry enough. Spare me more of this madness. Okay, okay, okay. And I can do the next one. Okay. 
That's why it's only an atomic wedgie? <laughs> only! What's the next level up, Cabal? A seismic wedgie? A galactic wedgie? You told me your real name is Alan. You're a liar. Your name's no more Alan than mine is. What did you say? Martin Summer's not your pen name. It's the one your mother gave you. <laughs> it is, is a weird-ass name. Now see here, I, I won't... Well, I guess he was named Martin and his last name is Summer, so it's fine. What's the problem? Full-on ass-kicking? I bet he'd enjoy it. What's the problem? It's a simple question. I don't see why this is so hard for you. You... You don't understand. You can't understand. There's so many steps in producing a work of art. So many. Let me take a wild guess here, Shakespeare. I think I know why you're so bent over my looking at your notebook. It exposes you! It's because there's a secret hidden inside. And there's something else that doesn't add up too. If it's your notebook, why did you send it to yourself? Well, I... I didn't. I had someone send it here for me. Why would you have a notebook sent to you? You would just bring it with you. The author of the story in the notebook? It ain't you. I don't know whether to be direct or not. I wrote every word in that notebook. It's a true labor of love. Mr. Hyatt, on what base... How can you claim that I'm not the author of the notebook? Oh no, did I make too many wrong steps? Do you have some proof to back your preposterous proclamation? If you do, then I must insist that you present it at once. Proof? Correct, sir. All right. You want proof? I think I can come up with something. Excuse me? Give me your autograph. I hardly think this is the time to... Close your head and sign. And make your real name, got me? My real name? Sign here. Use that fancy pen of yours. I open my notebook and hand it to Summer. If, if you insist, I must say, Mr. Hyde, you're being most disagreeable. Summer signs the notebook. I hope this will satisfy your mad request. Yeah, that'll do. What the fuck is this proof? Yeah, I mean, I'm trying to wrap my head around it, too. Now show me your old notebook. I beg your pardon? Your real name's gotta be written in the old notebook, right? I'm going to compare the signatures. Mr. Hyde, that's... that's... Oh, I see. Yeah, that doesn't look the same at all. Yeah, that's, that's pretty... Because the bottom is what I would expect, like, say, myself to do, or, like, what a normal signature would look like, but... Yeah. There's no way you wrote the story in this notebook. I feel bad for Alan Parker, whoever the fuck he is. Look at that ER. That's not how you write them. Not even close. But that's... The author of the story in the notebook... It wasn't you. Rah! I'm just circling red for him, for him like a child. Yeah, it'd be right there, right over there. You're lying. So who actually wrote it? Was it Alan? But that. <coughs> Who's Alan? But that. Oh, he doesn't want to answer that. Who mailed you the notebook? That... This whole thing reeks to high heaven. What are you hiding? Uh... He's not a answering anything! What's the connection between you and Alan? That's... Did I, did I answer too, too many things incorrectly? Oh, no. What's the problem? Enough! Who are you? Who hired you? Was it the publishing company? Or was it that treacherous Dan fellow? 
What are you babbling about? Now we just need Frange playing Ace Attorney? Yes, I do want to play Ace Attorney. I, I bought the trilogy on the Switch, so I could play it. Kyle deciding decided to trigger the would-be author via unintended mockery involving methods used by English teachers. The would-be author was completely destroyed inside. What? When? How? I don't work for any publisher, and I don't know anyone named Dan. Don't lie to me! Someone must have sent you! Do not think to treat me like a common fool. I am not a stupid man. Do you truly think to extort more money from me? It will not stand, sir. It will not. Hey, calm down. You're getting all worked up for nothing. I'm not a private eye. I'm not a hired thug. I'm just a salesman who happened to run into you in this hotel. But, but you discovered it. Discovered what? A secret! Looks like it. Question is, which secret? The fact that your debut novel was written by somebody else? Or that someone found out and is blackmailing you? You got two secrets, and now I know them both. Kyle is powerful. Yeah, the trilogy on Steam? Oh yeah! I, I could choose between the two. I think I prefer the Switch just because it's less load on my on my uh, PC. But I'm not even sure how much load Ace Attorney would have. The red correction pen circling his guilt. Oh yeah, it is like a it is like doing homework, English homework. That about cover it, or you got more skeletons rattling around your closet, Mr. Hyde. I must ask you again, who are you? Like I said, pal, just the salesman. Then why are you going to expose my secrets? That's not my plan. There's nothing in it for me. And blackmail's a dangerous game that I won't play. I just want the truth. The truth? The truth is something I fear, lest it be discovered and exposed to all. It haunts me and has kept me from even one restful night these past ten years. Holy shit, dude! That's a lot! <laughs> Mr. Hyde. If I could take the secrets I've kept hidden away in my soul, if for one moment I could share them with another human being, it might not be too late. I might yet, I might yet be able to make a fresh start. Please, Mr. Hyde, would you do me the favor of hearing my sad, ponderous tale? When I was young, I wanted nothing more to, than to be a novelist. Upon graduating university, I found work writing for a small magazine. I reported local news by day and chased my dream every other waking moment. And yet, as the years slipped by, I realized I was failing and fading. I was incapable. I had no muse to guide me. No words would come. I... I... I prepared to let my dream wither and die. But it was at that moment, my darkest hour, that I met Alan. The guy who owns the pen. That's correct. Alan, he... He was my friend. Keep going. We frequented the same cafe and knew each other's face as well. One day, we struck up a conversation, and soon after, became fast friends. Our lives were very strikingly similar. We were the same age, for one. In addition, we were both reporters, and he had both, we had both been raised by our fathers. The thing that surprised me the most was discovering Alan's dream for the future. As you may have surmised, Alan too longed to be a novelist, and yet, although we shared many similarities, there is one aspect where we differed. Alan had not abandoned his dream. In fact, he was totally consumed by it. He pursued the craft with a fervor and desire I could only faintly recall. Moreover, he was a man of immense talent. Oh, that's Young Summer. Ah, you see? Alan was a VTuber. <laughs> As for myself, I never shared my own aspirations with Alan. For some reason, I simply did not wish to speak to him of that. So Alan knew nothing of my impotent ambitions, and one day he... Impotent, I mean. He gave to me a manuscript that was to be his entry in a writing contest. Humbled by his trust, I gave it my full attention, reading it all in a single night. It was amazing. A work of singular power and beauty. Alan had actually done it. He had created a snare of prose and passion with which to capture his dream. 
He would be a novelist. I couldn't think. I was drained. Empty. Filled with jealousy and rage and... And into this dark void an even blacker thought was born. If only the manuscript were mine. If it were mine, my forsaken dream might yet come to fruition. And so I acted. I opened Alan's desk and took the manuscript. It was like being part of a waking dream, where the actions were not my own. I took it home, typed it up, and submitted it under my own name. As you know, the book was named The Winner, and I was a novelist. And Alan, what happened to him? Uh, Kyle would hit up VTuber Twitter like, Kyle Hyde won? VTubers are liars and cowards! Show your face, goddammit! <laughs> Alan had been betrayed by his only friend. Oh no! I hope he didn't die. <laughs> he disappeared, vanishing one day without a trace. Oh, how have I, how I have searched for him these past ten years. And yet I'm no closer to finding him than I was when I started. You're a little bitch, Martin. Mr. Hyde, I became a novelist by stealing Alan's work, but... I do not possess this talent. Each book I write is poorer than the one before. And then, the unthinkable. My assistant, Dan, found Alan's purloined notebook. So you paid Dan off and he sent you the notebook. That it? Yes, it is. So why'd you choose this hotel to take care of your transaction? That, at least, is a question which I can answer quite easily. I had heard of this hotel from Alan. He told me that Hotel Dusk was a special place to him. He said something very important happened to him here. Something important, huh? Yes. Alan mentioned it to me, but once. Whatever it was, I couldn't see how he treasured and safeguarded it. Yeah, I treasure this rat hole too! <laughs> what the fuck, Kyle? Mr. Hyde, I... Cannon, I'm done with you. I'll see you around. Therapist Kyle, out! So Summer stole his pal's story. Wonder what his buddy Alan's up to now. And what was the memory he told me about? What in the hell happened here? How many secrets does this place have? Starting to get on my nerves. Damn, Summer, that's crazy. I'm looking for my lost boyfriend, too. <laughs> Damn, Hotel Dust is where you go to find your lost lover. <laughs> your lost gay lover. Come on, Hyde, think. All right, hold on. I, get all, I gotta get all this straight in my head. Time for a quiz. Summer piqued my interest with his yapping about a painter named Osterzone. I gave Rachel a buzz and asked her to dig up info on the guy. While I was waiting, I figured I'd check out the room the other Kyle Hyde stayed in. With my old pal Louie's help, I got the key to room 217 and let myself in. That's where I found the lighter, the one I think belonged to Bradley. But that wasn't the only clue I found in room 217. Along with the lighter, I also found an old photo. More like clumsily and aggressively dredging up the traumas and secrets of everyone in proximity, Kyle. <laughs> exactly, that, that's just what happens with him. I, I don't know why. That's right, I found an old photograph from room 217. Like, Kyle just sticks his nose where it doesn't belong, honestly. There's a man and a little girl in it, probably his daughter. I finished checking out 217, then headed back to my room for a break. That's when I found the stack of cash hidden in the toilet tank. I needed to know who left it there, and why, so I put on my detective face and left. That's when Rosa cornered me and saddled me with one of Summer's books. She insisted that I... Get an autograph. That's right. She asked me to get Summer to sign her book. Kyle Hyde, professional autograph hound. Cripes. I tracked Summer back to his room to get the autograph. That's when Summer noticed he'd lost something. The thing Summer dropped was... Fountain pen. You cannot hide from Hyde. He'll sift out your secrets and judge you for them. For no particular reason other than to just know them. That's right. Summer lost a pen. 
Same pen Louie found and gave to me. I gave the pen to Summer and he signed Rose's book. But now I was onto him and getting more suspicious by the second. See, Rosa said something that got me interested in Summer, again. She talked about... Summer's real name? Yeah, okay. That's right. Summer said he wrote under a pen name. But Rosa told me Martin Summer is his given name. My money's on Rosa. I knew Summer was guilty of something, so I put him under the bare bulb. Guy cracked like a Humpty Dumpty and spilled his guts about his debut novel. I don't know why, that makes me laugh. The big secret was... He stole a friend's work. That's right, Summer stole the story from some guy named Alan. The same Alan whose name was inscribed on the pen Louis found. Searching room 217 confirmed my hunch. Bradley was here six months ago. But now I got some other things to take care of before I can follow up on these leads. The guests here eat, sleep, and hoard secrets like squirrels who hoard nuts. I was willing to let them take their private affairs home and let it be. But that was before somebody decided to stash a wad of cash in my john. Now it looks like I gotta be part of this circus slideshow. Well, so be it. I feel the old instincts kicking in, and somewhere a part of me grins. I'm still looking for anything that'll lead me to Bradley, but nothing's stopping me from taking out the trash along the way. You, you just admitted that you just you're doing this for fun, Kyle. Okay, time to save. Well, that chapter took like two hours. Chapter 5, 8 to 9 p.m. Don't we got a drink with the old lady? Or is that a 9? I forget. What am I supposed to do with all that loot? I don't know, man. Let's see, did I put something in my memo about it? Oh, yeah. At 8 o'clock. Mila? I think I check up on Mila. Not the old lady. Oh, look at the little doodaloo girl that I drew. <laughs> Bradley, first fighting crime is just a bonus. He has fun with it. Let me fix that. Yeah, that's better. so scared. I thought I just destroyed my drawing. <laughs> Doodle girl. Ah! Reload the save. I gotta keep the doodle. But at least there's a way to undo. It just doesn't look like any undo button I've seen before. I only undo the last thing. So if I made any any drawings after that, it would have been I would have been fucked. This fucking sucks. She has a full body now. No, that's not good. There. That's alright, her other arm is looking kinda wonky, but it's fine. Is that drawing of me? Shut up, Draken. <laughs> Draken has that thing has this thing where he always looks at me drawing, and he's like, Is that me? Is that me? <laughs> Is that me? <laughs> Scare the fucking shit out of me? Yeah. Well, at least it's safe now. Draken, the beautiful. <laughs> he is beautiful. <laughs> okay, I think I'm done with playing this game for today. 
We have filled our quota of one chapter per, per stream. I'm not sure if we'll be able to get like the last chapter done in the stream because I remember the like end game being kind of long. Maybe he's worth it. Maybe it's Maybelline. Maybe I'm drawing him. <laughs> just just any random anime girl. It's it's me drawing him. Let's see. Let's switch to just chatting again. What? Nah, nah, I'll, I'll, I'll uh, play common relaxing video game music. Draken is Miku confirmed? <laughs> yeah, Draken is every cute anime girl, including Miku. Can't believe I'm dating Miku. Turn this into a full ass Aggie stream. <laughs> Such a cool game, TBH. Really liked it. Ooh! Hello again, Princess Magpie. I see you were lurking. I'm glad you enjoyed the game. It's it's one of my favorites, honestly. I played it several times when I was a kid, and I wanted to play it again on stream just because I want to go down memory lane with you guys because I like I really like the game. Also, Kyle Hyde is cute. That's your daughter? Oh shit! Yeah, that's kind of that, that's kind of iffy. Never mind, Draken is not Miku. Miku is my daughter Ru. My precious daughter. You've been watching Lurking the whole time? I appreciate it. Puzzle mystery games like this are so neat, right? It's mostly like visual novel like, though they're like obviously you walk around, you inspect things, and you have items that you use. But uh, there is a second game. I may or may not play it on the stream after I finish this, but I have not played the second game before. So it will be all new to me if I played it on the stream. And um, it was mostly just because I didn't play it because it was only released in the in Europe. It is in English, but um, when I was young, I didn't think I could get my hands on a European copy. I did not yet know the wonders of importing games or emulating them so yeah it would be nice apparently the story wraps up pretty nicely like overarching wise um though i think there's supposed to be a third game it'll never come because the company went bankrupt the one that was developing it so sadly we won't ever get like a full ending i think i don't know what happens in the second game but i heard it wraps up pretty nicely Doodle, welcome back! Thank you, Diz! It's nice to see you again in the chat. Thank you! Thank you, Princess Magpie. Oh, I see the reverse. I feel like that pain is even worse with, like, uh, games that are released in America but not Europe. <laughs> because I feel like America is, like, the, the preferred, like, place to release things for publishers. We got the Disco Burr! Disco Burr! <laughs> I hope you're doing alright, Diz. I hope you're having a fine night. We're just wrapping up stream. Um, we were just playing Hotel Desk. And I think I'm gonna find someone to raid. Because my voice is honestly tired from reading all that text. Oh, my phone's fully like charged. Unwinding before bed with some tea? Ooh, what kind of tea are you drinking? Let's see who is streaming. Tension Tamer. I've never heard of that. Is like is that like a type of plant that they make tea from or is that like a brand? Oh, Picky's streaming again. I don't know. I feel like I raid Picky all the time. Can you see anyone else? Although I do want to read Picky. Oh, there are a lot of other friends who are streaming too. Let's see, Lucid is streaming again, but I already rated Lucid a bit ago. This has been such a cozy stream. I'm glad you think so. That's that's like my aim for the stream is 
for it to just be like cozy and maybe funny sometimes but mostly mostly cozy you could just chill it's one that they named from celestial seasonings it tastes similar to chamomile oh okay i like chamomile tea right whoever i want i want yeah but you know i want to spread out the love i'm glad princess magpie horror game stream when ah i'm not a huge fan of horror they tend to rely on, on jump scares and stuff. Um, I think I'll I'll raid Bun Hun. Bun Hun is just it looks like they're just chatting right now, but it looks like they're gonna be rigging a model, which sounds really comfy. Like you can just, you know, hang out and watch watch Soren like rig something. A drag queen named Coco Peru that has a bit of has a bit about t t tension tamer tea, so I have an affection for it. Oh, okay, so like you kind of associate it with them. Let's see, bun. Yeah, let's raid them. The Twitch based horror game. Oh god, that game was a trip. I had such issues with playing that. I, I was so. I actually got like. Thank you for the head pen. Thank you for the head pass. Wait, let me rain. Ah, hey, don't head pat me in the fart. All right, here are my rain messages. First one is if you have my emotes. Second is if you don't have my emotes. You can send that all over when we rain. Thank you for the head pat, Diz. Fart pat. I fart while you pat me. It moves my 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 bowels well, just a little bit. <laughs> But thank you guys for coming. I'll be streaming again on Friday, 9 p.m. EST. We'll be wallpaper hunting in New Meitsuki. And then we'll pick Chicory on Saturday. And then we'll have an anime night on the Discord. Uh, we'll be watching Cowboy Bebop after my stream on Saturday. And thank you, Princess Magpie, for stopping by from the rain and enjoying your time here. I hope you have a I hope all of you guys have a great rest of your night. I'll see you on the other side. Bye-bye. Mama, mama, mama.